Hey guys, Random RC here. Today we have an Intel Nook. Now, this is the exact same Nook that I had on my last video shown here, but this one is a different one. Exact same model, I'm gonna be putting a 60 gigabyte hard drive or SSD, so should I say, in it instead. So I'm just gonna open it up. So we've got this rubbish here. It's, that's stuff that's pretty easy to um to rip or tear open once you've got a slit in it or cut in it. So here we go, we just pull this up like that. There's um, not a whole lot in the box, or well, on this part anyway. So I'll just put that to the side. Now I do also have my eight gigabytes of RAM here. Here you go, just see if one camera focus, focus on me. There you go, there's the RAM. There you go. We also have an SSD here. It's a 60 gigabyte one from Kingston with write speeds of 450 megabits a second, both read and write. So I'm just gonna open up this um, uh, this SSD while I'm here. All right, so now we've got my SSD here, so we can just take it out. Oh, so there's actually a um, bracket just here in the SSD, which is actually extremely light. So I'll just put that to the side. So here's the Nook here coming out. I'm just gonna move this packaging to the side, and there it is in the um, plastic wrap, which should just come out like this. All right, there you go. So there's the Nook here. Um, as you saw in the previous video and yeah so I've got some instructions here which I'm gonna read and I've got some looks like probably warranty information here um, just some um, information um, and also looks like um, a free trial of something from Intel and we've got this vest mount, which I was talking about in the last video as well, um, that you can put onto the back of a monitor. It uses Vesta 75 or 100. So that's good. You've also got the English power plug. We also have an EU power plug, I think is what it is. We have an Australian power plug just here, which is the one we'll be using, so I'll just open that up. Alright, so there's the Shane one, I'll just move those over a bit more. And we've also got the US power slot here. So we don't need those ones, so we'll just leave them there. We've also got the power brick here, which we just um, take off this cover here, which is just a cover. And we put on um, this uh, adapter here. And there we go, that's, that's the power brick. So I'll put that to the side. And also, we just got a, um, a, uh, some screws, and we got one of my favourite parts in here, the Intel Inside Sticker, yes. I always like these little bad boys. Um, I'll just leave that there, and there's nothing else in the box, so I'm just going to put the stuff that we don't need, like these power adapters sort of things, and that information there. I'll just put that into this box here. So I'm gonna have a quick read of the instructions so I'll make sure that I know what I'm doing and I'll be back. Alright, I've read the instructions. So what we have to do is basically take off these four screws here, which I'm gonna do now, and I will fast forward the video so you can um, skip over this. All right, so this just basically comes off pretty easy. Um, these screws actually stay in, they don't really come out um, easily. So I'm just gonna put that to the side and here's inside the nook. Well, for the first bit anyway. All right, so just have to pull these tabs apparently. Just 
just having a bit of a problem here opening this bit. Alright, just had some difficulties there. So we have this is inside, so I'm just going to move the camera to get a better angle. Alright, so now we've got a better angle. I'm also just going to open this frame because I forgot to open it. So I'm just going to open that. Alright, so here's the RAM open here. Um, I'm just going to put it to the side so I can put that in. I'm just making... Alright, so as you can see here, or just here, is the um, networking card. It is a wireless N card. Get all the ports here. I think the CPU is on the other side. And so I am just going to install the RAM, which is in here. Alright, so I've got the RAM here. I'm just going to put it in the slot here. Press it in and just push it down. And that's easy. Simple and easy. Now this one only has one slot of um, DDR3 um, low power one, or low voltage I think it is. Um, so that's in. Now we're going to put the SSD in. So that seems to be in, but we've got to put the SSD in there, so we've just got to open this up a bit, and the SATA drives up to this end, so we put this in, which almost looks like we could use that bracket. Does that bracket make a difference? I think that bracket needs to go on, so I'm just going to put that on. Alright, so I just realized that I'm not going to put the um, uh, this um, bracket here on the SSD. I'm just going to slide it in. So, as you can see, the little part here, or the power, is to this side. So, we've got to put the SSD that way. So, yeah. Just slide that in. Um, push it in. So, it's now flush, and it's now fits, and it's in. Alright, so apparently I need to put the, these little screws in my hand just here into the two slots on the SSD so it doesn't move. So I'm just going to do that real quick. Alright, so they are in now and now I should be able out to fit this in here. Alright, so that goes like that. And it goes something like this. Alright, so there we go. There is the Nook with the RAM and SSD installed. If you want to see more about this nook, watch the previous video here, um, just there. And yes, so that is the video, and I'll see you next time on Random Tech.